Uh, hi everybody, I'm Harun and I'm working at Algolia. I know my name is kind of hard to pronounce, so you pronounce it however you want. Um, I'm working basically on our front-end libraries, but that's not really relevant for now because I want to uh, talk about our community efforts. So every year, um, not, not to toot our own horn or anything, we just really have a lot of value of using open source. And we want to give something back. And to do that, uh, every year around the holiday season, we make a new project. The very first project we made was called Algolia for GitHub. I know we're not great at naming, but um, the idea is, so you are using GitHub, but, um, but you want to find something. You want to find a certain repository, a certain thing, but it doesn't really, uh, like it takes some time and maybe uh, you can't find it. So for example, I want to find the repository for the flow library of Facebook. Um, and I forget to type in O. Uh, and then you can just go to it. So that's basically the problem we want to solve. Okay, to be honest, we started small. This is a, a cr um, an extension. You can use it for for every every browser and it also has for for chrome and other ones you can go even further with that and type from the from the what do you call that again the the url bar and then you can ask some other questions so that one is pretty simple but then we wanted to go further we wanted to say okay uh you can find repositories not that big of a deal but what if you could find everything what if you could find everything that you need on a certain documentation page? Like you're going to, let's say, the documentation page of, of Bootstrap. And uh, I, I kind of forgot how the, how the grid system worked. So I searched, yeah, command F, grid. Ah, it's not there, I need to go to a different page. Okay, now, now I'm finally here. But what uh, Bootstrap and a lot of other uh, ones have now because we we basically crawl their website because a um, a documentation website usually is quite structured so this makes this a very easy job for a crawler and you can search for a grid uh, and of course we're at already at the right page but like that you can solve a problem way easier um, so this is not just on Bootstrap, we actually have this on a, a whole bunch of websites already, like for example React, React Native, Vlo, uh, Vue, and uh, Scala, and Babel. And basically every time you have an open source project, or maybe you know an open source project and you know the maintainers quite well, or you work together with them, what you do is you... Um, you basically give in your, the URL and you say, hi, this is me, I can change it on the website or I can make a PR. And then we'll crawl the website and every day it changes. And then we'll get the correct contents for that website and then it can be, can be done. So that, that's a step further. Now, um, next year, it was previous year, is one which was close to my heart because I mostly worked on it. I started working uh, at Algolia in February and this is basically my, my internship project. So that is the search for Yarn. So Yarn, um, if you might or might not know, is a package manager for JavaScript and it uses the same registry as NPM. So that means you can download and install packages and update them and whatever you need to do to, to deal with your dependencies. Now, when you want to find a dependency, when you want to find a certain thing um, it might be kind of hard um, before like where are you even going to look are you going to look on, on on github are you going to look on the npm website there's a bunch of different sources of information for example i want to look at the github page because i want to see how many stars it has and like does it get committed to and things like that, but I also want to go to the NPM page because I want to see how many downloads it has on NPM. And all these kind of things just make me jump between tab to tab and 20 different libraries. So we try to find as much information as possible and put them together on one page. 
Now I am not great at typing in one hand, so I typed it on beforehand. But um, like, if you let's, does somebody here? Um, we were talking about Rx earlier. So Rx.js. Well, it's a really simple word, but it's there. Uh, and then we don't just we we try to, to really think. Okay, what do I need when I look for a package? So we find, okay, maybe I want to have it on a CDN. Maybe I want to see if it's committed to. Apparently, Rx has not been committed to in forever. Um, but maybe this, they're using a different library right now. Um, and then how many people have started. I want to see, maybe it's really big. I want to browse the files to see, oh, um, there's actually TypeScript files. Nice to know um, that I can use it in TypeScript and I have my definitions and stuff like that. And basically, this is uh, another community project, and it goes further than just a single website, because once we realized, okay, now we have all of the packages on NPM, and we gave some extra info to it, and it's quite fast to search for. And then you can go further. Then you can go, for example, to um, Code Sandbox. Um, and then, so this is an, an, a completely different website, which is... Um, basically using the index for whatever they want to use. So Code Sandbox is an editor, which is, uh, which is for, for anything in, in front end. And you can just add any dependency, like I can add our uh, React instance search thing to, to, to search, right? Um, in, a, in an index that I already have, and then it would be quite simple. Well, otherwise, I would actually need to know the name or this project would need to actually implement some NPM API that already exists or maybe it doesn't. So we just try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, this is right now, this is kind of in a beta, like the using for a different, different users, users. But um, examples are there's a, a package on Atom which, which you can use to like autocomplete your, for your dependencies. There's also Code Sandbox. Soon there will be a um, search for like Gatsby plugins on the website of Gatsby. If you have stuff which is based on NPM or on the NPM registry, then you can just reach out for now because it's still quite manual to give you a new API key and things like that. You can reach out and then we'll make sure that you get everything and then you're, that you're ready to start. Um, yeah, so this was another example of a, of a detail page. It also has the change log in case it has a change log. So you can find all of that on the website of Yarn. Uh, or if you want to talk about the, the actual user, just get in touch with uh, Algolia on Twitter. Now let's talk about this year because, I mean, you're here to know about all of the other talks, but also kind of to know what the special talk was tonight, which is about talks, really. So what we did this year is we said, okay, there's a bunch of like um, uh, conferences and meetups and most of them put their talks on YouTube and YouTube actually has this automatic captioning feature and maybe we can search in these captions. So what we made is talk search. So search for talks within a meetup or within a conference. So. An example of that, of course, is human talks. Human talks uh, talks are on, on uh, YouTube. So if I want to know um, a friend of mine, he gave a talk about uh, a library called Family CSS. Uh, well, it also works if there's no transcripts because this one, YouTube has something weird where it thinks it's in Portuguese, but really it's French, but that's okay. There's, a, there's more examples. Like for example, I want to find um, you know that one talk at dot conferences where this guy um, from Bootstrap, he gave something about guilt. Like, I'm not sure how to find it. Is it guilt? Oh, I'm not even typing. That's not helping. Guilt. Bootstrap. I'm not sure if I'll find it though. These are completely different things. Because that's the advantage of making a project which is focused on one website. Focused on... Uh, one single thing. So actually, uh, dot conferences has a we index dot conferences, of course, with their permission. Um, and if I now want to search for um, Bootstrap, 
because I remembered it was at dot conferences. And now, oh yeah, th this is the, the interesting talk. I was talking about Bootstrap, not sure if my sound will work. But then, so I'll find actually the stuff which he was only talking about within the transcriptions. He, that was not in the title, that was not in the description. Maybe my internet isn't too great uh, right now. But I could even search within the video then further to talk. He, you know, he also talks about like Stallman. Stallman. I think just breaks my internet or something. Anyway, this is still in a beta uh, because we, um, we just finished it uh, last week. It's still a low launch, but soon we'll do the, the big launch and then all of these bugs will not exist anymore. Of course, that's how things work. Uh, but if you are interested, um, if you host a meetup yourself, if you know a meetup and you know these people and you know that they're on YouTube, then you can just reach out uh, on the website. It's uh, community.algolia.com slash talk search. So uh, in the end, this was, uh, this was my presentation. But now if you have any questions about any of these pro community projects or in general, feel free to ask them. Sur cette année, on était avec, euh, je pense, une petite dizaine en total. Donc c'était plutôt, on, on, a, on avait commencé il y a un mois environ et ça finira fin de décembre. Et après, ça devient un une projet de... Ah, c'est maintenant mon projet d'amour, comment tu dis en français. Euh, mais que, que tu travailles comme une chose extra. Um, mais on a aussi um, les gens comme, comme Tim qui sont plutôt les, les, les DAF advocates qui, qui en fait se fait partie de leur job. Um, oui, mais je pense que c'est une dizaine qui marche uh, sur ça uh, dans le mode um, sprint et après uh, deux, trois. Par exemple, sur Doc Search, maintenant on a une personne qui est full time sur ça uh, depuis un mois, deux mois. Et après, c'était la responsabilité de deux personnes qui l'ont fait il y a deux, deux années. So basically, what we had is, uh, well, about a month ago, and say, oh, it's almost Christmas, we should start thinking about it. We put a thing in our Slack, in, uh, in our developer team, like, hey, do you have any idea where are you having problems with? What kind of stuff do you think can be improved? Um, and then also can be improved with search or with anything that has to do with search or not even that like it could be something that we just happen to make because we want to make it it doesn't need to be with search um, so we had like just just uh, a long thread of people giving ideas and then we decided um, this year for example that it could be well somebody made earlier a proof of concept where they fetch the fetch a transcripts from YouTube and then we realize, hey, this, this can be a real thing and then we can target it towards, towards conferences and meetups because we organize them and we notice a pain. So there must be other people who also organize them and notice a pain. So we're always going to the, we are feeling this, so probably also other people's are, people are feeling this. If you have any idea, don't hesitate to task us, uh, tell us because, well, we'd love ideas.